to Vlogoween number 22. Today's movie is a foreign movie that I thought would be a little bit harder to watch, but uh, it wasn't because most of it is set up. Um, this is a 1999 Japanese psychological horror drama film called Audition. It is directed by Takashi Miike, who you might re recognize as the director for the Phoenix Wright movie that came out a couple years ago. Uh, In it, we have uh, a man who is a widower, and he is, or he's, his young son, teenager son, eh, like 17, um, says he should get remarried, because he's looking despirited lately, which is true, he's getting on in years, he's middle-aged, and uh, so he takes up his offer, or he takes his advice, he wasn't like offering, uh, and his friend, who is, uh, or no, he's a he 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 works with a film producer, and they set up a fake audition for a fake movie, and out of like a thousand resumes, they pick thirty. They audition them all, and he picks this one girl uh, named Asami, and it's basically him. He he wants to marry her, but you know they they got to court for a bit first, which I guess courting before marriage only takes like. Maybe a couple months. It's a very short process, I guess. But uh, she's a lot younger than he is. She's 24. And she used to be a ballet student for 12 years. From 6 to 18. And then she damaged her hips. And her, her, her ballet dream died. And it devastated her. But she, you know, kept, kept moving on. And, uh... <clears throat> While he's dating her, he learns that there's nothing he can really find out about her. She, on her resume, she doesn't list an address. Uh, all of her, res her uh, references sorry, are uh, impossible to track down. The places she says she's worked have been closed for like several years to just a year uh, to a decade. Um, and suddenly she just disappears after he proposes to her at a weekend retreat. And that's when it starts to get weird. This movie uh, references kind of gore in a sort of mutilation type of way, but very little. And I knew that going in. I knew, like, there's at least a garrot wire at some point. And I was technically wrong, but I was right. Um, but yeah, towards the end, after a lot of suspense... It gets a little bloody. But I like this movie. I really did. I like the whole setup. It's very... It's very smart. If that makes sense. And, uh... Apparently it's got a bit of a cult following. That's what I'm reading. But, uh... Excuse me. It's, uh... A very good story. Loved the girl who played Asami, she was just the right, she's perfect, I'm, I'm trying not to spoil too much, but uh, you kind of know where it's going from the very beginning, and a lot of it is just like 80, 90 minutes of just waiting for it, and that's, that's a pretty great, <clears throat> pretty great bit, um, there's not much else I want to say about it, I don't want to ruin too much, uh, there's a cute little doggy in it, named Gang, I love that name. That dog is just so excited. Though it did make me very worried because at one point the main character is going to take Gang for a walk. And he doesn't have a collar or a leash. And I was so scared that dog would run away. You don't even know. <clears throat> Hella worried. Anyway, there's not much else I can think to say on it. So that's Audition. I liked it quite a bit. If you want a sort of psychological thriller. Uh, excuse me check it out it's uh i think it's still on netflix i didn't watch it on netflix i was originally going to quite a few years ago and i never got around to this movie out of fear but uh, i liked it quite a bit and uh yeah that's audition join me tomorrow for a film by what they may what they say to be the worst director who ever lived and no i'm not talking about the movie you're thinking of See you tomorrow.